Oh yeah, Team B and G, baby. Versus Ronin. They suck. They're like two and six. Although that might not even be right. We don't know. Because the scores are always fucked up. Alright, big game against Ronin. Uh, we needed a win. We were one, one, and two in our last four. Definitely needed a win, so we came out hustling, you know. We knew, we knew the camera was on us, and uh, we, we came out shooting, shooting hard, taking each other out there, as you can see, <laughs> marking somebody going down like bowling pins. We were firing, putting some shots on. Uh, number three, you know, Philip was not there. Foreign guy was not there. Nice save by Kurt there. Foreign guy not there. Uh, number three subbed in. He was good. He was good. He actually figured in in one of our points, you'll see later. But as we put pressure on here in the first, you know, um, we could have scored a couple goals. Their goalie actually played pretty well uh, through the whole game. Both goalies were awesome. As you can see, Kurt making stops like this. And this one, wow, that just went right over the net. Uh, had that guy hit the top half of the net, they would have had a lead on us. Uh, but some good, uh, good pick plays here. This is uh, about the only decent offensive chance I had in the first. And Spanky, nice pass. Put some stuff on Try to work it. Um, you know, ugh, that was the one timer that Dano gave me that I just could not put away. It was a very good pass. You know, deflecting, Dano put a foot on that one there. We had some pressure here in the first. We really came out hustling. Looked like, you know, we felt, we thought we were going to beat them going in given their record. We pounded them last time. Um, you know, as you can see, here's number three. Nice slap shot, and there's our goal right there. I believe it was either Mark or the other guy. Can't tell. Um, I think Mark put it in, but we'll see. Now, <laughs> right after that, you know, we got the one nothing lead. This was an offside call, and you can make the judge on the other side. Listen, we were bitching about that on the bench. You, you got to make at least make the effort, like you're gonna try to hold up, put your foot back for the ref not to call that. That that was a two on one. Could have been a nice chance, but wasn't. Um, let's see what else we got here. Moving the puck out, nice pass to Spanky. And more offensive pre uh, pressure here in the first. Nice move. Just, nope, just, just didn't have finish, you know. The whole game, we must have had like 40 shots. Uh, you'll see from the tape, but we just we didn't have enough finishing here. Making some moves, trying to look fancy. Me and Teddy up there, just bad balance. Doesn't go to one of us. The defensive makes a stop. Um, a lot of this pressure that, you know, Mark firing. The goalies play well, what can you say? Uh, here we had Kurt making stops. Kurt was unbelievable. I mean, Kurt, you know, I'll spoil it, you know, if you didn't watch the game. He ends up with a shutout, and he stops everybody. That play right there, the one guy, good guy they had uh, in the Marine jersey, walked in there, and he walked around Kurt and then tried to stuff it backhand and went across the crease and behind the net. Um, we had some more pressure here. That, that, was, that was the only time they really should have scored a couple other opportunities, but that guy in the Maroon, he worked us all day. As you'll see from these clips, uh, here's some good defense. We, we took the problem, the problem with the game was penalties. You know, we, we were trying to kill off penalties the entire game. The officiating was freaking horrible. Teddy, what, what the hell was that? You know, almost giving that away. The, the, this power play that, that they had started out decent, but as you can see, bad things started happening. I felt like they were going to score here because I was just lying on my ass without a stick and uh, getting pounded after we. Uh, started off the kill fine and then it just fell apart. You see we can't clear the zone. Um, <laughs> look at that mess in front of the net. People taking each other out. But Kurt stands strong. <laughs> Somebody else getting laid out. Uh, I should have been able to clear the zone here. Instead, the dude in the maroon picks me, keeps it in, and then really should set up a goal down here. But Kurt somehow stops it. That guy can't roof it. Kurt's big enough to block it off and we can get it out. You know, they had a lot of chances for a game that it's one nothing here, and it, there wasn't a hell of a lot of scoring in this game. Uh, it, it certainly seemed like it could have been four to three or five to four. It's weird. Uh, the fact that the goaltending was so good. Look at this guy working us in maroon. He makes a nice pass out front. Um, one block and then another block. It's just it crowded the net. They, they couldn't finish it off. Two on one, some decent back checking by us, although there were still opportunities. Like here's another. Look at that. Somebody gets picked at the point here. What the hell was that? This should have been bad. But look at that. Look at three. Look at three come back there. Speeding, back checking, stopping that. That should have been a breakaway. I should have given him the third star. That's Mark pretending to get hurt. 
This is a pussy. Or he's at least pretending to be a pussy to drop head away like he broke his neck. We, we were joking around because he's curling and dragging totally with his face down, staring into the core of the earth. And uh, it was kind of, what, well, right here, you know, he's fine. Whatever. That guy came in with the suck. Uh, but I do, I do believe it drew a penalty, and we had some more opportunities. And we moved into the second period here. Um, yeah, we had a lot of shots. It's just, it's, I, I don't, oh yeah, I'm missing everything. I don't feel good about this game because we only end up with two goals at the end of the whole thing. And it's one nothing for most of the entire of the game until the funny goal at the end. Nice pass from Smacky here. I get my stick checked. We need some finishing. We really do. If we'd played a better team, it's nice to take that. Had we been playing a better team, I think we, we weren't going to win because we weren't putting anything away. I mean, here's a nice move that turned us into a dual break and then try to play it five hole. But their goaltending was solid. Their goaltending was solid there. Uh, some more opportunities. We were pressing. You know, a lot of pressure, just no finish. Just all these opportunities. Goaltending was solid. We had to bet. You know, now, the officiating was another problem here. Watch this. You tell me if this is a penalty. Keep an eye on our center. Uh, takes a face off like normal. Uh, what? H hand goes up like it's the worst thing he's ever seen. What the f Really? Interference. They were just the way they were calling it. And then we had to kill most of the game. You know, we go into here into the third period. As you can see, there's penalties up. There's always penalties up there. Uh, I think we might have had the... No, yeah, this is the maroon guy working us. Just everybody. Whoop! Inside, oh, and he fires a shot here that goes off of the paddle. The top of, uh, actually the shaft of Cursed Goalie Stick. Uh, we got we just got lucky, and then uh, yeah more Kurt you know there's some stuff that hit the post just people leaving people open in the slot here he's, he just makes it look easy just with his glove popping up no problem um, we you know most of the third period you know, it was pretty evenly matched here's some decent movement up here oh yeah I was wondering how they didn't call a trip with all the crap they call it. look how is that not a trip please and. Uh, no, you know, they're just going to call them on us. You know, I, I didn't tape all the penalties and show them because they were, they were nothing to show. It's just, yeah, you don't hear a whistle because I dub over the audio. Uh, but some nice moves down here. Look at that. And then the goalie gets so angry that they call a penalty here. Like, what the fuck? I want to do it. What the hell? It's bullshit. He got hooked. He got hooked on his arm anyway. Uh, didn't get the shot off, but he was so pissed off. So... We, uh, we got a little power play. Try to show a little pressure here in the third. And still one nothing. I mean, we're desperate trying to look for that insurance goal because the way things have gone with all the ties we've had in the past, you just know something crappy is going to go in. Uh, I mean, that was that hit a post and then came back and somehow got smothered by Kurt. We were getting bounces. We were getting bounces, no doubt. I'm trying to hustle and get back on side. Taking more shots. Uh, and in between here, you know, I'm not showing it, but we're, we're penalty killing most of the time. This is a nice little pick. It almost turned into a goal. Get snuck. That would have been cool. Get snuck that through. So we get called for another nothing penalty, and we're down at like a minute and a half left. And so they pull their goalie. As you can see, that the guy in maroon comes off the bench there, and Garrett, the hero of the game, really Garrett, poke check from behind the net, turns around, chucks it all the way up the ice. The camera work is solid, except that we don't see the puck go in there. But other than that, she does show that that, that it goes in now. Yeah, there it is in the in the goal. Way to go, Garrett. 2 nothing. Here's our insurance goal. And we win. 2. Ronan gets nothing. Big shout out for Kurt. He's the first star. Uh, Mark gets a second star. And I'm changing the third star. Even though the graphics are going to say Garrett. It's number 3 on defense. He was better. Third star number 3. But Garrett would pay for the uh, team face. We'll let go. Alright. Not bad. I mean, we, we need some more offense. But uh, next week against the Big Bears, I don't think one goal in an empty net is going to cut it. So we do not have a game. Uh, sorry, Thanksgiving. It's the week after. It's the week after. Summer 6th. It's a big bear. Go, B&J.